Okay, in this video I want to talk about compound interest where it's compounded more than once a year. Um, and basically the formula you have to remember is it says the amount you have accumulated if you start with the principal, um, again this is what you go to the bank with for example, that's your principal or starting amount. It says you take your APR, divide it by N, add that to uh, 1. N again represents the number of compoundings per year and Y is going to represent the number of years. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to talk about how where this formula comes from briefly and then just do a couple of real simple examples with it. Nothing nothing at all crazy. So suppose you start with $100 at an APR of 12% compounded quarterly and we want to know how much you have after one year and maybe after two years. So again, I said that this is the formula, um, but let's just see if we can not kind of play with it and see um, where it comes from a little bit. Otherwise, I think it's really just plugging numbers in for the most part. Um, and hopefully you have a calculator, otherwise it'll be a little tedious, these computations. The idea is, if we're getting an APR of 12%, um, so 12% is 0.12, okay, so this is our APR. What's going to happen is, every three months, okay, so again, quarterly means every three months, or four times per year, What's going to happen is every three months, they're not going to actually give you 12%. What they do is they take that APR and they divide it by the number of compoundings per year. So instead of giving you 12%, what they're, do, what they're going to do is they're going to tack on 3% four separate times. Okay, and this is actually better than getting um, interest annually at just 12%. You'll actually find out that your, uh, your interest um, your, your, the amount of interest that you earn is going to be a little higher than 12% when you start compounding more frequently than once a year. Okay, so this is kind of one of the key ideas at the beginning to make sure about. So, okay, so if we just want to start computing these values a little bit, it says at the end of three months, I'm going to have my starting principal of $100. Okay, it says I take one plus and I take my APR and divide that by n, which in this case is 4. Um, so forget about the formula for a second. Let's just think about intuitively what we would have to do to calculate our the amount that we're going to get. So um, this will be 100 times 1.03, which is simply going to be 103. Okay, so at the end of three months, I've got $103 in there. Now at the end of six months, what's going to happen is I've now um, got my additional little bit of money. Instead of having $100 earning interest, now I have $103 earning interest. Again, if I multiply that by 1.03, um, let's see what we get here. Okay, so this is 106.09. And again, notice we could simply rewrite this actually as 100, and we've taken 1 plus our APR, divided it by the number of compoundings, which is 4, and now we've simply squared that number. So we took 100 and we multiplied it by 1.03, and then we multiplied it by another 1.03. That's what all this really says, okay? At the end of 9 months, um, we're going to have our new amount, our 106.09. Again, just multiply that by 1.03. Um, let's see what we get here. So this is going to be 109.27. Um, again, we could write this as 100 times 1.03 raised to the third power. Lastly, we'll take our 109.27. We'll multiply that by 1.03 to give our final amount pretty tedious stuff um, for sure doesn't exactly get my heart racing here um, so 112.55 and again we could write that as our starting principle 1 uh, plus our APR divided by the number of compoundings which in this case was 0.03 raised to the fourth power okay so that's basically where this formula is coming from um, if we're compounding n times over y years, that's where the exponent n times y comes into it. So to answer our second question, if it, it says how much would you have at the end of two years, well at the end of two years, 
all I do is use my formula. So it says the amount accumulated is the principal 1 plus the APR divided by the number of compoundings, n times y. So it says the amount accumulated will be our principal of $100, 1 plus our APR, which is 12% or 0.12, divided by the number of compoundings, which is 4. Um, again, the same number of compoundings times the number of years, which will be 2. So it says now we just have to compute 100 times 1.03 raised to the 8th power. Um, again, when you compute these, make sure that you do the exponent first, otherwise you'll get something bad. It'll be really big. Um, make your computer or calculator probably cry um, and won't give you a good answer. So if you get something nonsense, um, there's definitely a reason. So if you do the exponent first and then multiply this by 100, um, I am getting the value 126. And let's round off to the nearest penny. Um, I get 68. Okay, so and that seems like a very reasonable amount of money to have after two years at this um, interest rate. So, all right, again, nothing real heavy. Um, I'm going to do another one that's a little more complicated using this formula. Um, so, feel free to take a look at that. If you have questions or comments, feel free to post them. Um, in my first video, the one talking about deriving compound interest annually, I go a little more in depth. Um, I think I go a little slower if you need to see that, but. Um, I assume you've probably taken a look at that one maybe already, so I sped it up a little bit on this one. So, again, just a different little formula to remember. Nothing, um, again, just nothing real crazy though otherwise. So, alright, I hope this helps and good luck out there.